Uncle Hoosh's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to install my new NES Classic Edition. Uh, this version is 32-bit. Uh, this was a, a request from someone on YouTube, and I thought to myself, you know what, yeah, I probably should have just made a 32-bit to start with. Um, but because I'm running a 64-bit system, I decided to make it a 64-bit. So this one here will run on 32-bit systems. Um, it does not run on Windows XP. Uh, I do want to say that, um, and that's basically because of RetroArch. You'd have to get an older version of RetroArch to run on XP. And I mean, if if there's a certain amount of requests, I guess I could do an XP version as well uh, in the future. Uh, now again, this will be just like my previous NES Classic Edition build. Uh, this will be an Arcade Punks exclusive. Uh, the link will be in the description of this video. You can go ahead and... Uh, Go over to Arcade Punks, who have an amazing website, and you can get the link to this file. Uh, now, if you have it zipped, it is 313 megabytes, and once it's unzips, it's uh, 559. So once you have the file, uh, just go ahead, right-click, and click Extract here. Once it's extracted, you'll have your NES Classic Edition 32 folder. You can just right click that, cut, and just basically just put it in the root of your C drive. So I'm going to go to my C drive, right click, paste. So I just want to make sure that my volume is not too crazy right now. Just go here. And this is exactly the same as the previous build. The only difference is I've changed attract mode to 32-bit version, and I've changed uh, RetroArch to the 32-bit version as well. So once you have it on your C drive, open it up, uh, go into the RetroArch folder, and from here we'll just go into RetroArch. I've already got my controller pre-configured. Um, if you're looking to do that, I do have videos uh, on my YouTube channel to do uh, configure your PlayStation 3 controller in RetroArch or your Xbox 360 in RetroArch, uh, whichever controller you're using. Um, I'm just using a USB Super Nintendo controller. So basically what we have set up, if we go to on-screen display, and that you can change this in my previous build as well. Everything is the same, just this is 32-bit. So if we were to go to on-screen on display, on-screen overlay, uh, I have it set up as the Nintend, Nintendo NES.cfg, and that is the, the overlay that pops up that's created by James Baker. It's a really nice overlay. If you want to turn these off, you can just go ahead and turn that off to turn off the overlay or turn it on. Just like that. So basically, let's quit RetroArch. Now that you have your controller configured, um, and don't forget your hotkeys, I, I will show you that real quick. So input, input hotkey binds, press up so that we can go to enable hotkeys, and use your select button, um, or if you're using 360 controller, use the back button. And then also go to quit RetroArch, and we'll use down on our D-pad. There we go. We'll back out, back out. Configurations, save current configuration, back out, quit RetroR. So let's launch it up. NES Classic Edition 32, attract. And there it is, just like before. Um, I have, I've showed this in the previous video on how to get everything running, so this was just a quick little thing here. If you want to set your controller uh, within here, check out the previous video. Um, it's it's just going to take take up more time, and I'll be repeating what I what I showed you in the last video for the NES Classic. But it'll be exactly the same setup. Um, and again, if you were to launch a game here, and then hold select, press down, and there you go. So again, guys, uh, this is the 32-bit version. 
The 64-bit version is already available. This will be available very soon, if not right now. Um, I'm just waiting for Arcade Punks to post the link. Once they do, you're good to go. I, I'll, I'll actually not release this video until the link is readily available. Um, so I really appreciate you guys watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and have a good day.